is Coach Markov. Okay. You can see now the hood is back. It's a bit chilly now. Uh, not really big fan. Uh, as you can see on the board, look like we have a lot for today. Uh, indeed, it's not that much because this transaction will be a super set. So you want to move every 30 seconds. Two different exercises each arm. So it will be 30 seconds on the left, then on the right side, and then another movement as well, left and right. Uh, then you will have 30 seconds break uh, in between. Uh, then the workout we have three runs for time. Uh, today we have a lot of burpees. Um, I was checking advance. The last time I programmed in burpees, it was long time ago, two months ago, something like that. Uh, so you cannot blame me for that. I was really checking and I was conscious of not giving you burpees for a long time. Uh, today I would love to give you burpees and will be not less than 90. Okay, because I know that all of you will finish with that. Uh, so let's start with the warm up. Two warm up as usual. Uh, my first warm up will be just focus on losing, you know, and try to get the range of motion. Uh, then we finish with a skater a jump. So will be one minute, one movement, one minute, one movement. The last minute will be just to like give your heart rate and feel a bit warm in your body before we start uh, the specific warm up. The second warm up, uh, focus on your posterior chain because we'll be doing a lot of pulling on the strength. Uh, we'll be doing two rounds of 20 uh, steps of dead march. Uh, dead march I did last week, I think. Um, I was checking the movement, I didn't do really well, so I want to do it again. Okay? Uh, my mistake. Then 20, 10 each arm, plank, full throw. It's a movement that I implemented this a few weeks ago, a month ago. So let's start with the warm up. transaction to movements. The first one will be uh, a dumbbell row. Ideally today I want you to do the dumbbell row with uh, two points. Uh, so it's hang on the bench or on the couch, knee on the couch, and just pulling with one arm. Uh, we'll be always try to keep always your back as flat as possible. 30 seconds pulling on the right side, switch side, pulling on the left side. And then what we are doing is a single arm high pull. Remember when we do the high pull, we open slowly wide your legs, thinking that uh, your grip is always narrow, 
when you reduce the kettlebells it's really easy your feet are slightly pointed out your knees go and follow the position of your toes and then you start slow like a deadlift then between your hips and your uh, thighs you snap and you help with your hips to do that pull you do normally with both arms we'll be doing 30 seconds on the right side then we do 30 seconds on the left Last but not least, 12 minutes time gap. A workout that should be in between 8 to 12. Yeah, in between 8 to 12, you have 4 minutes gap, 30 burpees, 20 sit ups. Optional if you want to push hard today and you want to use this time gap, you can do weighted. And we finish with 10 power snatches each arm, alternating power snatches. Always the dumbbell should be touching on the floor. Both edge of the number will be touching on the floor. If you uh, use a kettlebell, you can always get this kettlebell in the swing a bit, so you can get the advantage, of the advantage of the kettlebell. But remember that the idea is no longer than 12 minutes time cap, and we want to uh, finish the workout. If you think that you can push uh, really well this workout with normal setups and finishing eight minutes, the option will be pushing a bit harder and giving these uh, sit-ups a weight on your chest you will be always tapping behind put the weight on the chest leaning forward tap on the floor uh, so let's see the movements with same stretch today we have two different stretch ideally you will be holding for about two minutes the first one will be a um, forward fold with only one leg single leg forward fold starting always with the right leg my left leg will go close to my hamstring and when you inhale from here when you exhale you try to reach your ankle if you can do reach your feet we'll see how flexible you are the idea is hold there and maybe after one minute you release a bit more and try to get a bit further. So the stretch will be focused on posterior chain. Your calf and hamstring will be pulling. Also your lower back if you can pull with both hands at the same time, okay? Um, then you will switch legs. Again, one minute, inhale and exhale, second minute. And we finish with one uh, child pose variation. You do stretch to achieve a bit more on your lats. We were doing a lot of pulling. So you will start with your knees. Just underneath your hips, my hands, they will be always underneath my shoulder. You try to reach far away, yeah. Keep your palm a bit high. From here, you will be holding 30 seconds and then you will be moving to your left. Going down and feel that stretch through your lats. Again, you will be holding for about 30 seconds. Moving to the middle, 30 seconds, moving to your right 30 seconds if you feel that you have a lot of stress just repeat again the sequence and try to feel a bit loose at the end of the workout remember just go step by step first warm up focus on moving really well uh, second warm up just fight the muscles and push hard on the strength 
push hard on the workout, cool down, yeah? and I hope that uh, if you start your day, you will have a nice day, if this is just the evening, uh, have a good dinner, yeah, and I will see you tomorrow.